What's up guys? This is Wakaila back with another entry in uh, music you should be listening to. Due to popular request, um, I have changed the view of my camera so it's not gonna be with the sides anymore. I kind of liked it that way but people seem to prefer this so we out here. Today uh, we're gonna be going over a, a little bit of a different kind of song. Uh, the song is called Do West by Kelsey Lou. This song is interesting. Um, there's, it gets a little boring um, at some points um, but there are some really strong, prominent, distinguishing features that make this song stand out. At the beginning there's like these, um, I guess throughout the, throughout the whole song there are kind of like these synth strings you know you get these drawn out notes that make it feel very continuous which doesn't necessarily drive the song forward but it provides that whole that kind of background noise that ambience uh which is useful for the song um when the voice comes in Kelsey has a wonderful voice but um it's not doing anything particularly interesting it's relatively high in the register so you can pinpoint exactly where it's coming from but that goes nicely alongside uh these synth strings which um, we're definitely trying to emulate either cello or bass because um, that's much lower um, so you get the you know you get the contrast um, that we're always looking for and then there are some more kind of synth pulses that come in really like the first verse and the pre-chorus are not super special um, they're solid at building tension just because the you know more instruments more and more instruments come in and we start to expect more and more but then when the chorus is where the song really starts to shine what's really exceptional is uh, the way she ties together line to line. So the first line she says Due west I'm heading on this road um, But then as soon as she finishes saying that she once again says Due west, right? So she says due west. I've made it on this road due west, right? So that that feels like an extension of that first line which then allows her to, to bring in the rhyme in a completely different place, right? So it's very poetic, right? So she goes, do west, I've made it on this road, do west, just cruise, right? Which rhymes with do, right? Do and cruise. So she's actually using that first, right? So do west, cruise, right? So she's rhyming with the do, not the west, which we kind of expect the west because that's the, you know, that's the second part, but the, actually she's using the, the sounds that work well together from the beginning of the first line into the second into the second part right and then so she goes do west just cruise as far as i can go to california california right so she has this very like the vocals almost like the melody is almost just never quite what you expect it to be at least rhythmically you know tonically it's very you know it stays in the range of uh what has been set up before but in terms of the rhythm and the rhyme scheme it kind of comes at places you don't expect and that makes it really when i first heard this song i just kept listening to the chorus like over and over again just because i love that part because the tension the tension breaks right when the chorus starts and then she's also doing these crazy things with the rhythm of her words it's a really it's a really excellent song for that for that reason alone, really. Um, the rest of the song is kind of bland to me. Um, not a whole lot happens, um, at least from what I can see. You guys are welcome to tell me if I'm wrong, but it definitely has that one shining moment that makes it stand out from a lot of the other songs um, in my collection. Um, and I keep it around for that, specifically. Uh, so yeah, definitely a banger. Definitely my collection. Definitely something that you should be listening to. Uh, once again, this is Wakaila. Uh, I'll catch you next time.